What's up, everybody? My name is Lee Hua, and welcome to the Superfina channel. I am a Hawaii variety content creator, host of podcasts across worlds, and I stream on twitch.tv slash Hua Superfina. Today, we are reacting to Suki Michi Moonlight Fantasy. And if you like anime reactions, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next upload. And if you would like to support the channel, we've got Patreon and channel membership. Link to those are below. We are reacting to Suki Michi moonlight fantasy episode one i have been anticipating this series i even did like a trailer reaction talking about this series and how excited i am so let's get to it it's like an adventure now really starts like this yes getting hit by a truck yes that's super super time goddess grants mortal heroic powers beloved by residents of the other world enjoys Adventures were cute. Girls, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> He's not experiencing the stereotypical isekai thing. Incredibly unlucky when it comes to isekai. Okay. That opening was so good. It's totally different from how this episode started. Like, it was, oh gosh. Definitely going to make a video about that intro, about that opening. Oh, it's so good. Oh my gosh. Let's watch it. Let's, let's watch the episode. Ordinary day, ate breakfast with his family, school, archery practice. He made eye contact with this girl and she did like a hmm look and walked away. And then all of a sudden he gets summoned. Oh, he gets summoned! We get this orb of a god. Oh, he says, that's odd. I was so they already ran the idea with you. Make you here and hand you over to the goddess. Oh, interesting. So I read the manga for this, but I want to point out that this is our god. So they're saying his parents are from another world. So that's really different. This is another reason why I like this isekai story because it's different. His parents are actually from another world. Parents signed a contract with the gods of another world and came to Japan. They agreed to someday give her whatever was most important to them. Oh, does that mean him? Oh, children. The children are the most important thing to his parents. I shall dispose of the numerous products you own, which you picked the stuff of men's dreams. <laughs> This is like uh, the slime isekai. <laughs> you must shed the world you live in. Shall grant you all the power I can. Oh, how nice! The goddess you're about to meet has a lot of problems. But try to be as patient. Oh, he's so nice. He's like, yeah, I accept her no matter how ridiculous she may be. Ooh, mm, you're going to change your mind on that. Mm -hmm. The demons and spirits of this world have begun doing as they please. My humans are in big trouble. Thought I summon you to help. Shh. 
She called him ugly. Rude. Who's the ugly duckling? Are you? What? What a weosh. Could you get out of my sight? Your existing disgust. Okay, how can you be tolerable to that? How can you be patient to that? She's found other heroes suitable for the world. She's going to put him at the edge of the world. I hate to give you any power, but I'll compromise by giving you the ability to understand, speak, read, and write languages other than the human language. Enjoy a meager life with lowly orcs and goblins. Don't spread your hideous seed among my humans. I wonder if the fob will kill him. What a weatch! Such a huge contrast to the moon god from our world. Oh, thank God! Yeah, that that goddess was a weatch, okay? There's a harsh and barren world beyond our protection. Your magic powers and physical body were under considerable strain. Oh, so Earth was like that. Released from the burden, you should be quite powerful. So he's saying that um, because Earth has like a type of strain on people's bodies from this world it's sort of like he's been walking around with weights the whole time in the name of Sukuyomi I grant you freedom in your new world thank you for saving him or is it Sukuyomi or Sukuyomi Shoot. Anyways. <laughs> yeah, it's like he's been walking around in weights on Earth. So as he's walking around here, it's much lighter. So everything he does to him is like normal, but it's actually a very powerful force. He just hasn't discovered that yet. See, he's been walking for three days and he's fine. You know, he's got a durable body. But geez, that guy has like left him in a world with no natural resources, no plants. Nothing. And look, look, look how fast he, he ran. And that high jump, he jumped high. Look at that, look at that. I'm Makoto, the human. Oh! Okay. <laughs> that effects for when he kicked through. That thing's head <laughs> and the blood effects. Cool. Very cool. Whoa! <laughs> oh, that's so scary looking. How is a human speaking to me? Because the goddess gave him the ability to speak and understand non humans. Barren wasteland. That crappy goddess really did send me to the ends of her death, <laughs> ends of her dirt earth.
on the way to that divine mountain. Offer myself as a sacrifice to the Shen. Oh, he's treating this like an RPG. He just called it an event. <laughs> It's been quite a while since I read the manga, so a lot of this feels new. Very refreshing. It's like I'm rereading it all over again. But with color and animation. Maybe he's got demi-human blood in him. And he's like, sorry, I'm so ugly. And we got magic introduced. She's supposed to be an orc, right? She's a pretty orc. Like, she has really nice hair. Her eyes are, like, sparkly. She's got cute flowers. So, I guess, like, for him, any language he speaks is, like, <clears throat> universal language. Oh ho 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 ho! Good job on your first try. So I think he has an affinity for magic. She's measuring his level. <clears throat> okay, so he's his level's probably high, two hundred or three hundred. Okay. Level one. Oh, that's right. Huh. Eh. Eh. He left a letter. I'm taking the list of spells and equipment you gave me. I'll see what I can do about the Shen. Oh, he's going after the Shen so she doesn't have to sacrifice himself. He calls the goddess crappy, that crappy goddess. <laughs> Ooh, look at that! Fancy! He went from doing fireball to, like, archery! Yes! I like the way he thinks. Like, it, it's like he's planning things out. Oh, damn! Do you work for the orcs? Jeez! We use the Shen's name to subjugate the orcs. Oh, it was lies! But you were rash. You laid waste to his home. Oh, they, they died. They died! <laughs> This mist is red. Is it made out of blood? According to folklore, Shen are supposed to be giant clams that produce mirages.
What's number 10? Is it number an easy guy? <laughs> It's a dragon! See, 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 look how he's logically thinking about this stuff. He's so calm. Is this the will of not wanting to die? Instincts! Instincts! Is this a part of Sukuyomi? Sukuyomi is Sukuyomi. It's surprised that it's getting hit. Back. <laughs> getting your. But whooped. Now for the finisher, frog jump uppercut. Boy, where did you get all these moves? Were you a martial artist before you left? I thought you were only into archery. Go drown in the happiness inside my memory illusion. Ooh, let's see this. Back home, every day kind of thing. Mm-hmm. She busty. <laughs> I think it's funny how he pointed out that she's been making her hair that style ever since he complimented it. And his happy illusion is for her to ask him out. Wait, why is she crying? You can fall in love with me? <laughs> the illusion is purposely showing the bra! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Shen is getting distracted by his memories. <laughs> Why does it change from like this to red? It's like every time it changes red, it's like her crying and like doubt it's like negative energy interesting interesting contrast wait <gasps> it happened already but i forgot a lot of stuff this happened already that's what the red meant. The red meant that it was like reality. Okay, so he can create a area to protect himself, a barrier. Oh, he mad. You don't feel any hostility towards him, but he feels hostility towards you. <laughs> He's apologizing! Came here from another world. Would you like to enter a contract with me? Special type of magic that grants various benefits. One, the party pledged an oath. Both parties are empowered depending on each other's relative strength.
He's Shen seems so excited. <laughs> so goofy looking compared to before when Shen was attacking Makoto. <laughs> He wants to go into secrets. Was that like a high five? Uh huh, he overpowered you. Eighty twenty. Ooh, so what the master will be going forward. A cool beauty in Japanese clothes. And that was my reaction to Tsukimichi episode one. I... Oh, it's so good. It lived up to my expectations. I am definitely going to do a video reaction slash review to the opening scene because it really does tell a story because it's actually showing what we're going to expect from this anime because right now we're just seeing the beginning. We're seeing where he starts at, how he got summoned with that crappy goddess and with Tsukiyomi, the god from our world, and how he's discovering about magic and the blessings. I, I, I would call it blessings. Would you call it blessings? Let me know in the comments from Tsukiyomi, which is uh, three things. I believe enhancing uh, the barrier to protect himself and nullify things. And the third thing is analyzing things. I think that's why he was so calm when he was fighting. We'll talk about it in the review. And he got a companion. He got a companion and it was really funny. It's funny how like the dragon was trying to use like the illusion to trap Makoto. But then because to do the illusion, Shen has to go into his mind and go through his memories and see what makes Makoto happy. And by going through the memories, Shen actually discovered things that it wants to know. And it's like, it was like, oh, let's make a contract. And then they made a contract and it went from scary looking dragon to pretty samurai girl. Okay, so when I first discovered Shen, or discovered, what did I just encountered Shen, I thought it was a guy. And then when, when Shen, like got the human form as a girl. I was like, what? <laughs> so we'll talk about that in the review too. Uh, what do you guys think about this episode and video? Let me know in the comments. And if you want to talk outside of YouTube, there's a Discord. Discord link is available in the description. I also stream on twitch.tv slash the Hulu Superfina. People who watch these videos do like to stop by the stream, have that one-on-one -on -one real time conversation you guys are more than welcome outside of youtube and twitch i host podcasts across worlds where we talk about anime manga and other things we're interested in if you like podcasts like that link to the podcast is in the description we are available on all platforms other than that my name is lehua and this is the super Fina channel reacting to suki michi moonlit fantasy episode one hope you guys like this video and i will see you on the next one Later. thanks to my patreons and channel members for making this video possible if you also want to be part of the Superfina party, you can click over here or become a channel member. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. And I do stream live on Twitch every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Hope to see you guys there and I will see you on the next video. This bump.